two, one. Here we go. Let's give it a minute. Let's give it a minute. It's Friday night. I should put on my roller skates because it's the greats. Oh, it's early, yeah. But late, it doesn't matter. We've got a few things going on tonight. Of course, there's nutritional yeast involved. Well, let's involved. be honest. Let's be honest. We really didn't know what we were making for dinner. No. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Shirley. My gosh, it's so good to see you. Rachel, I'm so happy to see you. Let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, I see keep how you do this. blowing the comment section. So I want to make sure that I see you guys. Can somebody leave a comment? Hi, Sarah. Watch this, you guys. But first, I have to figure out how to get the comments on this thing. I know, and I read there it, it is. every time. Rachel, thank you so much. Cindy, it's so good to see you guys. <laughs> this was just, you know, we kind of pop in here on a Friday night. Um, and we're so grateful to see everybody. You know what's amazing besides all this amazingness going on in here? Um, this group has so many awesome people and we have a lot of new people and there's people mm -hmm. coming in on so many different levels. You know what I mean? But it doesn't matter because we're all here on the right highway to help. We're all going in the same direction. So it doesn't matter if you're in the Indy 500, which is the fast lane, you know, turbo fuel, keeping all the oils out, keeping it low fat. That's okay. Um, there's other lanes, but the whole point is we're all in the same direction and yeah. that's awesome. Um, I wanted to bring, like, as I was saying, there's a lot of really beginner, beginners in here. And what's inspiring them is watching everybody in here doing this. But some people really aren't sure even where to begin. And I want to just kind of talk to you guys about how simple it can be and should be, whether you're beginning or whether you're a pro at this. We're going to take you through a, oh, like, it's so good to see you. We're going to take you through, what are we going to eat? Wow. Okay, we're sitting here. We're sitting here, and we're thinking what are we gonna eat? And I said, well, let's have pasta. And John goes, we're out of pasta. That's actually tragic. Yeah. That's like, a tragedy. Uh, what happened there? How's everybody doing tonight? Tell me how you're doing um, so that I can hear. Tell me how your week was. And I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna quick make some potatoes with cheese yeah. and some broccoli. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna just use these potatoes. We just took these potatoes, washed them off, in water and just put them on a plate, poked them with a fork, and we're microwaving them for five minutes. You know, then what I then what I next did, I quickly grabbed the ingredients for the awesome cheese, all the cheesy without the diseasey, and for a veggie, as soon as the yeah. potatoes are done, we're gonna put these into. Actually, we could do it right now. We could get the broccoli ready to go. Oh, he's ready to go. <laughs> this is not good enough. How's everybody doing? There we go. You're Hopefully awesome. I'm so glad you're. Whoa! I'm so glad you're doing oh, awesome, Cindy. I'm so grateful that you're here. I know you. Some of you guys may have seen this cheese, but I thought maybe you'd want to see it in action. How we do it. Hope uh, you guys are, are getting your own dinners ready. Hope you're yeah. filling your plates up with a beautiful um, yeah. amount of nourishing food. Like I say, if I could see the bottom of your plate. You need more food. You need more food on it. We want more food on it. And when we have more food and we're nourishing, that's truly how we, we just keep this going. We we're going to take a on. half a cup of nutritional yeast. This is the Nooch that I love. It's in my uh, Amazon store. I'm going to go ahead and take a half a cup of cashews. Yeah. I use a, only raw cashews. Cooked cashews just are not the same. They've got salt in them. They've got all kinds of junk. So we're not going to need to be doing that. We are going to then take four cups of water. And, you know, if it's just for one or two, I re you know, there's not everybody doesn't have a bunch of people living at their house. So you can take this recipe and you can half it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I realize that this is a lot for one or two people. Um, so we're going to just add that in there. I think I need one and a half tablespoons. So here Here's was the, the, uh, the mise en place. Okay. I kind of had it ready. You know what I mean? I was yeah. trying. Oh, that's great. So that's one great. and a half tablespoons, tablespoons of, of lemon. lemon. But I mean, that's I'm not, not being all... Oh my gosh, I'm short. Well... No, but what does that have to do with a lemon? Oh, well. Yeah. I need this uh, knife over here. This is, this is real time, you guys. I'm not in a class. I'm this not is, yeah. in any rush. This is just kind of us real this time. Is, this is more often. She's cooking. 
She's How's your... Kitchen. Hey, don't say that. <laughs> oh, it's not How's like your day problem. going, you it's guys? Not. Cindy said hers is going great. Has everybody been eating their plants off? I've been hearing over and over again as I'm talking to you guys, doing my one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions with you. I'm hearing over and over again, the success is when we're kind of looking at a plate filled up with those simple foods, fruits, vegetables, greens, legumes, um, and grains. And when yeah. people are hitting a consumption of about 1,800 to 2,000 calories with around 20 grams of fat a day, that's a lot of food, you guys. That's a lot of food and that's a lot of planning, but you can do it. You know what we said today? It was like planning in 1980 for dinner when there wasn't microwaves. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, we were talking about that. That was funny. When you wanted a potato, it was like you had to figure that out yesterday because you got to put it in the it's oven for like 40 it's minutes, true. you know? It's and you true. didn't really batch cook because you'd still got to warm it up in the same oven the next day. So, <laughs> so this it's is... going to take a while. You just made it new every day. So this kind of... Yeah, this is going to be amazing. We got lemon. Oh, here's a tablespoon. We need We're going to use something. that for some cornstarch. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. <clears throat> We're going to... What do you guys think? Should oh, we have what? pinto beans with this or should we have... Um, Black eyed peas. Black eyed or peas. Pintos. Yeah, well, let we you couldn't guys decide. Choose. You guys tell us what we should have, and that's what we're gonna have. Yeah. But we decided about five, ten minutes ago. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna quick it up, and I'm gonna make some um, of this cheese which you know the first time i started making stuff like this it was incredibly overwhelming i didn't know what nutritional yeast was i already lost count do you guys think it was four? One, two, three, four. i think it was four i think that's five um it was incredibly overwhelming at first but you know what when you stay focused i stayed focused on man i want this i want this so bad i want this so bad that nothing is going to get in my way i'm going to be patient with myself i'm going to take the time to figure this out because nobody else is going to take care of me nobody else is going to take care of you the, the only person that can take care of the best care of you is you mm. so what i want to do is make sure that i'm teaching you guys just how to do that of course what it starts what do we get Two teaspoons, uh, one teaspoon, teaspoon of garlic. Yeah, one teaspoon of garlic. John's making sure I've got quality control that here. Teaspoon yeah, that's, teaspoon. Don't, <laughs> you don't see that. That's one teaspoon. That would be Italian style. <laughs> no, this is gonna be two teaspoons of onion powder. Yeah, two We got the nooch, <laughs> we've got that, and we've got everything in here except for the roasted red peppers. So these are a little different. They're in the ethnic section and the Greek section, but you can find the regular, there's another brand. Um, it's called Marezzi or Moretti's, I think it is. And just the yeah. one thing you wanna make sure is, take Mosetti's. a look at the Mosetti's. Take a look at the back and make sure there's no oil in it. It's just packed in it's water. It's just packed in water. And when you have this kind of stuff, you guys, this is what makes um, like the quickie quesadilla yeah. cheese sauce. Mm, this makes this sauce. Amazing. I love you guys. Oh, uh, just all. I just wanted to cut. I just wanted to come in here, and I wanted to show you how quick we do this. That's and right. that we're just broccoli's already in. Broccoli's already in. The potatoes. Let me see them. Potatoes are done. Done. Okay, hold on. Hot. Should I mute them? This Ooh, is gonna be loud. These are hot. Give Then I do a little. Then I do a little contest of how quick can I put all the ingredients away. Right, that's when my cabinets look like. Yeah, that's half it's on. okay. It's okay. Don't you worry about it. Okay, mm. so here Tastes we go. Tastes like cheese. But we can't eat it like that. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> We're gonna put it in here like this. I'm just pouring it into a pot now that it's nice and spun up. Um, wow, this makes a lot, but that's okay. Oh, this is gonna be good. Nasty cold. Whoops, we're gonna put it on high. You guys, even though there's a stove behind me, I love this portable stove. I could take it everywhere with me. I've taken it in the car with me. I'll take it to a hotel with me. We have. Yeah, we have. And then we're gonna sit here and we're gonna let this cook up for a minute. Yeah. And I'm gonna ask how everybody's doing tonight. What are you guys cooking for dinner? 
What are you guys cooking for dinner? And let's see what we Here's have. Here's a little broccoli. Pinto. I just threw it in a bowl, threw a paper towel over it, did like a few minutes. Now I'm gonna just shake it up, make sure it's hot. Oh, so it's still a little cold. Cover it up, do a couple more. I like the pinto beans because you could just peel it off. So I'm gonna drain and rinse these really quick. If you do not have a colander, I mean a strainer, you just want to take the, the lid right here. Just use the lid. Yeah, just out. use the lid, drain it out, rinse the water in, drain it out, do stuff like that. That's all, man. This is fantastic. This is going to be great. I can't wait. What's everybody having for dinner? We're doing a cheese. No, you what are me? they having? I know what we're doing. What are you guys having for dinner? Sarah said, she said pinto. Pinto. Cindy is oh, having pinto. leftovers made extra potatoes. She Good said idea. pinto. Yep, we're having pintos. I'm Sarah doing black eyed peas. It. Sarah the MC. Oh, that's all right. We're doing black eyed peas. peas today. Sarah, that's I all can't right. read. Black eyed peas. I'm are having good. nothing because I'm at work. Oh no. What? That that's when girl. That's when I know I gotta bring the smoothies when I don't have access to be eating like that. Maybe we could make this an intermittent fasting moment and then she can get the two thousand calories in on the times when you are there awake. You this sucks that Wait, you don't on. have the access much. to eating food when you're at work, but I'm grateful that you're there and you're helping animals and you're doing amazing oh, yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, what you got going on there for go. dinner, Rachel? Shirley and Oleg, I can't wait to hear how you guys are doing. Yeah. Syrup, I wish you had some fruits or something on hand. Yeah. Cindy, you right. made extra potatoes. So did we. We made a bunch of yeah. potatoes over here. They're gonna be so good. We've got the broccoli in there. Broccoli going. What else is going on, you guys? Did everybody get their movement in today? Did everybody get going like this? Is everybody going down the list and saying something fabulous, complimenting on Fridays, somebody in the group? Because when you leave a little compliment, you go, hey, you know what, I liked it. I like what I see, or yeah. great job. It makes you feel so good inside, you wanna like do better um, at everything. So if you have the moments, thank you for everybody who's been complimenting and leaving the love, it means so much. Yeah, it's hard to snack when you're running around like that. It's not easy, it's, it's not easy. Two minutes, Ow. We gotta fill you it's up hot. to the hilt before you go in. Or you know what else, Sarah? We could be doing like granola, um, we've got those Tommy bars with oats and raisins or kind of you can make like a granola bar Maybe you could keep it in your pocket and kind of yeah, eat it. There, there you go. go. <laughs> yeah, we need more though That's awesome All this talking kind of gets you parched mm. mashed potatoes and baked beans I mean, oh my gosh my smoothies over here. I didn't even finish it yet. Oh, you're going I am not so we're just gonna sit here and do this. I mean, how many minutes have we been on this live? Oh. Not long, is that hot? The broccoli is hot. It's really hot. Whew. This is gonna be great though. Just potatoes, put some broccoli on it, some beans, some cheese. While that cheese is kind of melting up, I'm gonna get my bowls out. Yeah. We're gonna take, oh, you guys can't see this part. We love you guys. We just wanted to come in here and show you. Um, don't worry about if everything can't be perfect or the recipe that you had planned or the menu that you had planned. You know, don't worry if that didn't work out. But what I know is I should be planning better um, yeah. of what we're gonna have each day, I'm which is pretty much the same cool. thing. So we're a creature of habit and we all eat the same thing for days. And then That's we right. kind of, so I break open the potato like this. <clears throat> Yeah, and I just kind of, I place them in the bowl. I open them up and let them cool off. John, how many do you want? Yes. Three? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, well, that's a hot one there. Oh, that looks amazing. That's Look a lot that. of potatoes. I want to show you guys how big the bowl is. Yeah, those are nine inch bowls. I don't know, I don't know why I labeled it. I should put a banana next to it and see if you guys like that. Banana for scale? Banana for scale. We've got a little, this is how we do it. And this is very easy. Like I said, if you're new to this. Yucca for scale? A yucca for scale, he said. <laughs> this is a small yucca. It's a, apparently it's a nine inch. Um, we're gonna take these potatoes and I'm gonna layer them in the bottom. I wanna keep potato. it easy. Look at this. It's a bowl. Here yeah, we go, we got some go. potatoes. Easy and cheesy. I'm already getting excited about the there flavors that are coming. 
No, do you layer? You wait. You do you put. Yeah, you. I put the broccoli, broccoli right on, on top. And, now, do the beans go on after the cheese? I don't know. What do you so. think? So there's that. Let me put this in the sink with the rest of the dishes. You know, my camera does like move around and follow me. Not right now. And I thought that was a great idea until I realized. Oh. I don't want everybody to see my dishes all the time. Yeah, when well, we're mise en place. And yeah, there's a moving. time and a place for the camera movement. Yeah. Um, oh, well, the beans. The beans. Why this not add beans? So yeah, this stuff is super, this is nutrient density. Wow. This is how we end up getting, a, a, you know, a lot of nutrient-dense calories. Um, very filling. If you can't eat the whole thing, I suggest you make the biggest bowl ever. Start off wow. with the biggest bowl ever. If you can't eat the whole thing, what are you going to do with it? What do you guys do if you can't eat the whole thing? Like, what do you end up doing with it? Oh, man. I'll this. eat it later, tomorrow, whatever. I'm, I'm going to wait here it. until we get the cheese done. The cheese is... Patricia, yeah. it's so good to see it's you. It's quicker on that stove, but this is cool up front. Yeah, I want to see like, cook. Them. Should we turn it over here on the stove and rip, it, rip through it? It's good. Yeah. There. It's jacked. Can we do it? Yeah, put it on our stove. Light okay, it up. Here we go. Shut that Light it up. up. Patricia, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, I wanted to show everybody kind of how we were doing dinner. We, we just cooked a whole plate of potatoes. I poked them. I put them in the microwave. Five minutes, one side. Uh, flipped them over. Another five minutes. Kind of feel them. See you if know. they're baked. Yeah. I actually said to John, how long do you cook the potatoes for? <laughs> I broke up about three potatoes. Three pretty decent sized potatoes. We split an entire bag of frozen broccoli. broccoli. We split a can of pit black eyed peas. So just to give you guys an idea of the portion that I'm eating here today um, and whatever I'm not going to eat. What do you guys do if you have a leftover like this? What do you do when you have a bowl like this? How do you take care of it if you can only eat half of this? I want to kind of know. Um, and in the meanwhile, I just quickly whipped together some of that uh, mm -hmm. Plantspiration, all the cheesy without the diseasey. Oh, it's coming together nicely. It is. See, we had to put it on the stove. We That's the only, We would have been done. We would have been done, and we just blended it and did it all in front of you guys in this amount of minutes. I'm so impressed with everybody, by the way. I'm so impressed with everybody. We've got so many new people coming in here, and I say things like, everybody first says, you know, I don't know if I'm into this group thing, but there's nothing like this group in here. I was reading some of the responses, like, this group is going to change your life. Yeah. Um, this community is like no other. That's awesome. This is what I want people to see when they get in here. I want them to see why this is different. Um, what you guys are posting and what you guys are sharing are sustainable, are realistic, um, things that I've taught you to do. So this is great. Put it in the refrigerator. I'm eating yesterday's leftover for supper. And that is the, for goodness sakes, that's the easiest way to do this. That's how if, we cook usually. If we're going to take the time to cook potatoes, I want to make sure that I've got a ton. Same amount of time, same amount of dishes, same amount of, um, hey, you don't look at yes. my mess. Well, dishes, yeah. Sometimes I eat the yeah. leftovers for breakfast. Patricia, I'm so glad you oh, said yeah. that. That's so realistic. I will, in a heartbeat, eat pasta, lasagna, you know, beans and rice for breakfast. Because really, what does that matter? You know, I what? I toast and hummus this morning. Yeah, you could have <laughs> fruit. You, you know, I grab a fruit all the time. Banana. Yeah, what do you guys have for breakfast? If, if new people are in here and they're going to see this for the first time, please take a moment and put down the easiest breakfast that you learned to do when you first transitioned. Like, I'm going vegan. How am I going to do this? We, we always recommend oats, soy milk, you know, or a plant milk. Hi, Sherrod. It's so good to see you. Happy Friday night, you guys. I'm so happy to see you. You guys are all doing so amazing. I hope today went really smooth for you. I hope that if any obstacles showed up that you guys stopped for a minute and you thought, let me take a deep breath. How about everybody relax their shoulders right now? I did. <sighs> it's I can Friday. Let's relax our shoulders. It's Friday. Give me some. I was up so high I couldn't hear. You were? I couldn't hear. Yeah, I did a lot of this today. <sighs> Sometimes we gotta like let that stuff out. It's plants. Smoothies, style. berries, the greens in there. This is a wonderful, wonderful breakfast for a first timer. Another great break another great first timer is you guys are so cute, thank you. Is just having that rice 
cooked up in there. So you could make the rice with even plant milk, raisins, banana, a dribble of cinnamon, and maple syrup. So you could do that rice um, as a great breakfast. You can even blend it and take it a step further and you can make it into a rice pudding. You could heat it up in a pot and you can turn it into a warmed up rice pudding. Oh, yeah. There's many levels that we can take this is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I want you to pick a level that's easy and simple. I microwave my oatmeal or grits for two minutes. <laughs> What a great nice. idea. I forgot about the grits. It's like what, a quarter cup yeah, of grits right. and two cups of water? Mm, I don't know. Whatever it's it's whatever says. the package says. I gotta stop guessing. Yeah, that's good stuff. How's the cheese? I don't know. I think it's I think it's pretty good. Huh? Oh, it's done. What right. do you th well, I'm just finishing. Come here. Like, Let's get this on here. I was like, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting um, for I'm nothing. so happy to see everybody in here. I want to continue to show you that we we are practicing ex and living exactly how we're showing they you guys. Want to see oh, this. I'm sorry. It's, it doesn't have to be hard. Going, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be wow, uh, out of look control. At that. That's out of control. I'm gonna Don't need a little bit more. Oh. I was on the elliptical today for quite a while. Oh, or something might have gotten on your. That's okay. Sweatshirt. We can do laundry. <laughs> That's bowl number one, and this is gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. yeah. Just, this cheese is incredible. That. I want them to you see guys, that. Guys, this on. is amazing. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> that's a cheese soup for goodness sakes. But that's wow. okay. Broccoli um, cheese soup. That's all right. Soup. That's his. <laughs> this is mine. There's other things you can do. I'm going to probably put some red pepper flakes on this, Ooh, give it a little heat. Yeah. Ooh, you can even great. put balsamics on this if you want. You could throw a slab of uh, hummus if you don't want to have the, the time to make the cheese. I'm going to cut some green onions. Another tip, rinse this sucker out right away. Oh, yes. Whatever don't it is, it rinse it out. Hard. This is a hot. Let it cool off a minute. Rinse your yeah. stuff out, um, especially if it's a Vitamix. And what I want you guys to do is keep it nice and easy on yourself. And thank you so much for all this incredible, amazing support and inspiration that's going yeah. on through here. I mean, how boring would it be if it was just mm. us up here? Like, yep, we did this. Yeah, well. Boring. Um, I want to see you guys doing it. That's what's the most inspiring, important thing that we could be doing is yeah. doing this together. Uh, what do you think? You ready? Cheers. You guys, happy Friday night. We can't wait to see you face-to-face -face tomorrow at Saturday Support Group. I want all these new people to get in here um, and see what is, what's going on. Like, what's all the buzz about? Okay. It's because it's amazing. Um, I want everybody to continue to, Mine do, just looks like a bowl of continue to do, all, do all the awesome things that uh, bring you joy. Do that gratitude uh, inventory tonight before you go to bed and be grateful for all the things that uh, you got done today. Thank you guys so much. I don't want to take one more yeah. moment of your time. Have a great evening.